Hey guys, today we will guide you through the process of obtaining a FinCEN ID number. A FinCEN ID is a unique identifier issued by the Financial Crimes Enforcement Network or FinCEN. This ID is essential for securely managing your beneficial ownership information, BOI, across multiple entities. It provides a streamlined way to update your information, ensuring accuracy and compliance with the Corporate Transparency Act. Let's get started. First, open your web browser and go to fincenid.fincen.gov. Once you're there, hit enter. This will take you to the Financial Crimes Enforcement Network's FinCEN ID page. Here, you'll see a large blue button that says sign in or create an account with login.gov. You might also notice some frequently asked questions below the button, which can help you learn more about your FinCEN ID. Feel free to browse through these if you need more information. Once you're ready, go ahead and click the blue button to continue. Now, click on the next blue button as well. This will take you to the login page. Here you can either sign in or create an account. It's possible that you may already have a login.gov account. Perhaps you've used it for government contract work or as a federal employee. If you do, log in and skip forward in the video. If not, click create an account to continue. Enter your email address, accept the rules of use, and hit submit to continue. This will send you an email confirmation. Open your email account and find the email from login.gov. Open this email and click confirm your email address. Once confirmed, you will automatically be taken to a page where you can create a password. Since this is a government-based account, we recommend using a secure password. Be sure to save your password and then continue. Now, you need to add two methods for multi-factor authentication. We recommend using text as the first method, and for the second, you can choose any of the other options. In this video, we will be using backup codes. Select your methods and hit continue. Here, you can add your phone number and hit send code. This will send a code to your phone. When you receive it, enter it in the box and hit submit. Now on this page, you will receive your backup codes. These codes will only be used in case you lose access to your phone or are unable to receive a text message, a backup for your backup in a sense. Download these codes and save them to a secure spot. Once you have finished saving these codes, Click the box to verify that you have put them in a safe place and continue. When you continue here, the website almost always crashes to a white or gray page, as you can see here, sometimes with an error message. Don't worry about this. Your account has still been created with login.gov, and now we can finish obtaining your FinCEN ID number. So once again, type into your browser the web address fincenid.fincen.gov. This will take you back to the place where you can sign it. Sign into your account and you will see a page with the heading FinCEN Identifier FinCEN ID Application. Here is where you will enter your personal information. Enter your personal details and residential address. We recommend using the residential address so that it matches the information you will provide on your driver's license. Now, enter the information for a state-issued ID. We recommend using an ID with the latest expiration date. In this case, we will use a driver's license. Enter the corresponding info and upload the document. Now that you have finished the document, certify that all your information is correct and submit the request. Now you will see a page with a link to download your FinCEN ID report. Download this and save it for your personal records. The FinCEN ID number found in the report is the only thing your attorney or CPA will need to submit your BOI reports. It's important to note that FinCEN requires that this information be updated within 30 days of any changes. This could include a new driver's license with a name change, a new address, a different driver's license number, and so forth. Willful failure to follow these rules could result in fines of up to $500 per day. So be sure to update your FinCEN account when changes happen. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Remember, keeping your FinCEN ID information up to date is crucial for compliance. 
and having your FinCEN ID makes the process of filing BOI reports much smoother. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and don't hesitate to share this video with others who might find it helpful. Happy filing!